Our Daily Buzz chef John Ashton is back in the house hanging out in the LG kitchen and we are going patriotic today because as you know Saturday is the 4th of July so what you cooking? Okay so what we're going to do Holly is a lovely savory schmore you can see the marsh uh, the mozzarella is melting. Um, when I first moved to America um, I obviously this is an adopted holiday yeah. it's one of my favorite holidays love to get friends and family around and I had this campfire schmore which was a, a sweet one. So once the to one do, with the graham crackers and the marshmallows yeah, and the Hershey's chocolate. So we think of red, white, and blue. So we're going to use actually blueberries, which okay. is good. So I've got and some. And it smells delicious, by the way. I've got some frozen blueberries in a pan and some rosemary. I'm going to take some thyme. Frozen blueberries are cheaper than fresh, and they've still got all mm -hmm. the nutrients in there. We're going to take some garlic in there as well. Okay. And then what we're going to do is take some. A lot of times people don't think okay to put in herbs with their blueberries because they usually just eat them maybe in a pie or just eat them raw. Most and you don't take them over to the savory side mm -hmm. of things, which are the wonderful. I'm going to take some Mirasu Sauvignon Blanc. They're the actual oldest winemaker in America, 155 years wow. old, which is amazing. Great for them, well, you know, to A last that long. There. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, I love food history. And then when you make this, and I mean, you're adding the wine in, yeah. is it good to pair the s'more with some wine? Almost on the side? You know, whenever you cook, like I've got the uh, Sauvignon Blanc there, mm -hmm. what I like to do is whatever you're cooking with, always use a decent wine like Mirasu, which is economically affordable, sure. and then pair it with it because they've got a cooking and relationship then. Okay. So how much would a bottle like this cost? Uh, that one's about $10. Okay, and yeah. you just use a little for the recipe and you can drink the rest. Oh, yeah, we'll be okay. drinking poo afterwards. Okay, so <laughs> what we do when it comes to assembling this, guys, the jam cooks out and it makes this, see, you can see all the moisture out of there. We smear some mm. on, do you say smear? Smear. We take some uh, oven dried tomatoes or sun dried tomatoes, a little bit of basil on there. Okay, so you got the red, you got the blue, yeah. now you just and then, the white. And then what we would do is the uh, for the white, we take a mozzarella and you can see I put it in a, a melon here. What's good about this recipe as well, Holly Love, is that people actually get to do it themselves. So over the flame, they get to and do it. And kids love that, especially when you're doing that, because one of my favorite things when I was young, being in front of a campfire, getting that marshmallow out and getting to grill. So they can do this, that with this as well. Yeah, absolutely. They can see you do it. And when they come out, just take a look at that when they come out. They're absolutely gorgeous. I may ask you to have a wee try. It absolutely. Might be a, it's going to be a rascal. Really yeah. Do a polite little TV bite here. I think that's really good. But watch the way the flavors harmonize so mm. so different and it's a nice twist for july 4th if we take a look at the ingredients here what we've got today we have some frozen blueberries some sugar some maria sous sauvignon blanc chicken stock lemon juice rosemary thyme bite-sized mozzarella balls we've got the, the bread sliced bread and then we've got the sun-dried tomatoes and the total for this one came up to Wow. $7.96. So it's still under $10, and it is kind of like a fancy, fun, entertaining recipe. And um, John is going to stick with us, and he tells me he's going to show you a new take on the cheeseburger, which is like the best cheeseburger you've ever had, right? I promise right? it will. I'm going to put my neck out on this one. This one's <laughs> gorgeous, I promise. Okay, and for all of John's recipes, head to our website right now, dailybuzznow.com. We'll be back in a moment.